wanted to go in to their bowl game against Boston College in Birmingham. And they fell behind. The coaches said no. On first down, some running room. It's Kyle Porter again, and he's to the 50 with another first down for Houston. Of a game on national TV. Third down and one. Big hole, Jared Jokes. They have five men trying to run him down with the angle. He stays on his feet all the way inside the five-yard line. 74-yard run for Cincinnati. Well, watch this linebacker. He's going to blitz, and it's going to leave a big opening right in the middle there. He runs by the play, and then he is all the way into the second level. Second and goal. Cincinnati trying to score first. Goats, top run, touchdown. Bounced off some contact near the line of scrimmage. As Demarion Williams, their fine cornerback, couldn't get him on the ground. And the sixth ranked Bearcats off to a terrific start. Got three tight ends over there. You can see Leonard Taylor, 11, Josh Wiley, 81, just collapsing that side of the Houston defense on any day or any drill. Four minutes to go, opening quarter. Here comes a blitz, and Toon never saw it coming. Oh, well, he took a shot. He, he got run. Run. That's the corner you were talking about. Ahmad Gardner, the sophomore. To the short side, watch Gardner, and Toon never sees it, does not anticipate it at all. Started up drawing up plays for his backs. He's an experienced guy, and this is his 34th start. Another run, the Ash run inside, and they asked the quarterback, Mike Denbrock. Michael does lean on analytics, and sometimes he avoids it because of momentum. What a catch. And it's Dokes who's going to start this first half. Inside the 15, they convert again on fourth down. The ball's a little outside, but what a one-handed grab and concentration by Jared Dokes. He was uncovered, and Ritter almost threw that football away and ruined the fourth down conversion chance. The one big play in the game, 72-yard yeah. run by Dokes in the first quarter that set up his two-yard touchdown run. And not much offense for either side beyond that. Here's Ritter again. Finds room, and the end zone. Touchdown, Desmond Ritter. Well, you see the speed because the safety had a shot at him. 91-yard touchdown a couple weeks ago at SMU. But watch him just outrun the safety to the pylon for the touchdown. Here's the shot from the progressive pylon cam. He has more 100-yard rushing game. I think if they get this third down and short, they'll go deep the next play. Well, this was a shot on third down. What a, what a nice catch. And is it a catch? I believe it is. Yes, he got it on the ricochet. Cincinnati thinking run all the way third and one. What an effort by Bryson Smith. Catches it on the way down. Ball was snapped and Porter was able to slip in there for a nice game. Of 11. First and goal from the three and touchdown. Basically a walk in. For Kyle Porter, for the first Houston score of the game. On the next play, there's the movement again. They move themselves out of position. The offensive line gets on. Titan turn will be scratched with a hand and knee injury. They lose their best defensive lineman. Coaches sleep. Not helped by that. Dokes up the middle. It had success with that. He's over 100 yards rushing. Popular debate around New England, who is more important? Kraft, Belichick, Tom Brady, I've always said Tom Brady. Well, lots of those other people aren't important, but I think that's been proven definitively this year. Ritter, who is under pressure, takes it down and scores! What a run by Desmond Ritter for a Cincinnati touchdown from 32 yards. Pressure, and watch the middle of the field open up. Man coverage, so everybody is turning and running with receiver. They almost get him there in the backfield, and once he steps up, all he sees is green grass in the goal line. And Desmond Ritter with his second touchdown run of the football game. A mistake on the kickoff. Gives Clayton Toon and the Cougars. Good field position at the 35. Wide open. Yeah, deep throw. Dana said, don't even bother. It won't work. This one works. And they go all the way to the 10-yard line. It's Nathaniel Dell, the catch and run. Well, 
Watch these two receivers out here. They're stacked. What makes it hard to press coverage when you stack receivers. And there's a little and short a round in the, the deep round. Player. Just he fools the Cincinnati defender. Seconds. They get Locked caught up. I think that was the corner, Kobe Bryant, that got beat out there. And next thing you know, Houston inside the 10-yard line. Longest catch of his career. From Moore, Oklahoma, just outside Oklahoma City. 28-yard field goal is good. All-American at Penn State. <laughs> good resources. Not cheating, you're not trying, right? You're only cheating yourself. Bubba backs his kickoff and be run out by Trey Tucker. Look at him go! Almost took it to the house. He got wrestled down by Jordan Moore. And now Cincinnati with excellent field position. And 15 on the non-power five. Those will finish high in the rankings. Dokes finds some space again. He may go. Jared Dokes. Boy, down inside the 10-yard line. They'll mark it at the seven. Points on the board. All they have to do is kick the ball off. And a big kickoff return, and now a run where they're out of their run Time fits, out. and Dokes Cincinnati. takes it all they're the way down out. inside the five-yard line. Watch the block by the tight end, Leonard Taylor, on the leading tackler. Bad run fits, and just like that, Cincinnati, with 22 seconds now, a chance to add to their lead. A junior college transfer in his first year in history. Second and goal, 17 seconds to go. It's a touchdown. They go Josh Wiley. Luger saying he wasn't in bounds. Javarius Owens, the safety, had the coverage. Kickoff plays leading to a score for each team here late in the half. That's just a jump ball. Put it up for your tight end. Wiley, a very athletic, six foot six, kind of a big receiver, more than an inline tight end. I think he got both feet down, only even though he only needs one. That's what's gotten Houston in trouble. They've played a lot of plays of solid defense, but they've gotten gashed on some run plays because they're just not in the right place. Well, they're going for the tried and true, pick it out of bounds again. But this time it was fielded by Demarion Williams. Will there be another kickoff play? Well, at least it gave them a chance to throw one deep if they want. Bearcat saying they have the ball, and the officials concur. Three seconds to go in the half. By some time by rolling to his right, Hail Mary, and it's intercepted in the end zone by Hassan Hippolyte. Might be the best field goal drive you'll ever see to start in the second half with an 18 point lead. And Cole Smith takes just their second field goal of the year. Part of the success of the Cincinnati program under Fickle getting local players to stay here at home, and Wiley's a great example of that. Jerome Ford shoved out of bounds. Put the ball right on him. Don't try to lead him. And second and ten. Opening moments of this fourth quarter. Here comes Ritter again. Chopped it's down inside the Ritter. 15 by Marcus Jones. Because of the long arms and, and the good feet. Here's Ritter into the end zone again. Touchdown. Desmond Ritter's third rushing touchdown. Ritter. And that gets him over 100 yards rushing career, adding to his own Cincinnati quarterback 100 yards rushing game record. See, here's that little action. Fake the inside zone. Now the tight end is going to lead block for the quarterback. He's had it thrown to him. This time he's the lead blocker. It's a nice little three-play combination that they have off of that inside zone run, which is their base run. Anchors at the outside of this defense. After the fake, threw it into traffic. It's deflected and intercepted. Derek Forrest. And then Forrest is there for the interception. Wow. He just continues to have a huge impact on this college football season. Jerome Ford, the ball carrier for Cincinnati. And a nice run. That is their 12th run in this game of 10 yards or more. It'll be interesting to see where Cincinnati is ranked when the AP poll comes out. They go to 6-0. They've won 18 straight home games.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.